Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. I know that the start of this video is a little different, but I mean, come on. I just received this beautiful package and oh my god, I am so in love. This is from Rose Forever and let me just tell you, you guys will fall in love. Look at these beautiful roses, you guys. So Rose Forever is a New York-based brand launched in 2019. They designed the most luxurious rose boxes with natural roses that will last for a year as if being freshly picked. They use natural oils to preserve the roses and the bouquets are handcrafted by professional flower artisans. All the materials that are used to cover the boxes are vegan, even the pink suede and the black velvet. The preserved roses in special colors, violet, black, royal blue, are created through a natural process of pigmentation to keep the rich, intense shade and are allergen free. There is an enormous choice of rose colors and boxes, the shapes of the boxes or materials. So just have fun to find your own perfect combination for your interior design. Just perfect for any occasion, for a wedding, for a special event, for your anniversary, any special event, this is perfect. So I will have everything in the description box below just in case you guys are interested. We do have $25 off each bouquet. So if you guys want something for your loved one or just for yourself, I will have it linked in the description box below. Just type in the coupon code and yes. So everything will be in the description box and below. So here as you guys can see, I'm using my 3XL tapered no c curve tips these are flat i do have them available on my online store i'm also going to be using my 14 brush from my online store and um yes that's what i'm going to be using today and i'm using my crystal clear acrylic powder as well as my monomer with a couple of drops of the neutralizer from not polish you guys can always use my coupon code it will be linked in the description box below as well and like I said, the coupon code will be there, which is just Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y. But yeah, you guys, um, I like to do this before I start. Um, as you guys saw previously, I was just cutting them to the size that I wanted them to be. And after that, now I'm going to be adding my crystal clear acrylic. And this is just what I like to do. This is just the, the process of me um, getting the tips ready for the acrylic application or for this video which is just for video purposes you guys this is not how i would um prep the nails or anything for like a client or anything like that um this is just for video purposes only okay because i remove them uh as soon as i'm done like as soon as i'm done with the design or with the video i like to remove them i do not keep them so yeah <laughs> well now i'm gonna be taking a white and this purple is from my last year's summer collection and i'm gonna be taking it and kind of doing a little marble here in the middle nail in my middle finger and my ring finger we're gonna be doing the exact same thing so i'm taking the white and then the purple and just sprawling those colors around and that creates the marble marbles don't have to be perfect you guys um the i guess the more messier the better so don't worry about perfecting it or anything like that the more messier or the uglier the better okay so don't worry um what i do worry about is that little edge on top you guys i like to blend that because whenever i come with my nude i really want to I really just want to make sure that I'm not going to have any problems trying to ombre the nude and um, that way the, the color won't show like wherever that purple stops and the nude begins, you know what I mean? I really like for it to have a smooth transition, okay? But yeah, so I kind of have like a cheese my time here going on. Um, so let me tell you. So I grab my phone, I go through my um, emails, I usually check the emails uh, for my business and also for my YouTube because those to me are very important, you guys. Um, you know, that's where companies reach out to me so that I could, 
you know, just review products for them and then my business account just so that I don't have any problems with my little online store. And thankfully, I had not had any problems up to today. <laughs> So I received this email from my online store telling me that this certain person, I'm not going to say names because of course there's no need to, but I was a little, I was a little shook you guys. I was just a little, mm, I'm not going to say mad. Let me just tell you the story. So this person, when she did, she did a chargeback. She called her bank telling her bank that she didn't recognize the transaction being made from my online store and that it was fraudulent or something like that, that it had been fraud or, you know, that pretty much um, she didn't know who had made the, well, the purchase from my online store. So, I mean, obviously, you guys, I have no other than your orders. I don't have any like information from you guys like at all. I don't have no information when you do a a purchase on my online store. All I have is your address, of course, to send your your package. And um that's literally pretty much it, you guys. I have no card numbers. Um I have nothing. So like how would I or how would my store just make a random purchase like that? You know what I mean? So um I go into check and it's charging me close to $100. I know to a lot a lot of you might seem that oh my god it's just $100. But you guys like honestly if you are a small business owner, you guys know the troubles that we go through. Like having a small business is a hassle you guys let me just tell you it's not easy especially if you have a family especially if you have a home a husband just literally a family to take care of every day on top of that you have a youtube channel and on top of that you own a small business so it's a little aggravating to be to be exact, that's the words that I'm trying to find. I was a little aggravated, you guys. I was a little mad. Just the fact that how could somebody do that? You know what I mean? Like, you did the purchase. Like, don't act like you didn't. Um, why? Like I said, why would my store just randomly select somebody to go and um, just purchase stuff out of my own, my own online store? You know what I mean? So, um... I, like now I have to pay her back I am pretty sure I sent her stuff um I went ahead and checked I'm like oh my god maybe like I forgot to do her order maybe I forgot to just ship it or something but no I did ship it, you guys I take pictures of every single order that I do and just in case people tell me, like, I receive an email telling me, like, hey, um, you missed this product. Um, I purchased it, but you didn't send it out to me. I go back through my pictures on my tablet. I go back through the pictures and I'll go back through her order number and be like, oh, my God, I did forget because it's not on the picture. That means I did forget it. So I ship it to her and that's it, you know. And this time I went and checked through my pictures with the order number and i had shipped it you guys the picture was there everything was there everything that she had ordered was there and i went ahead and shipped it now it turns out that she wants her money back like literally she wants her money back and on top of that they're gonna charge me guys um 15 to for that chargeback so they're charging me her money and then they're charging me another $15 on top of that. Like I said, a lot of people might be like, it's only $100. But you guys, honestly, to us small business owners, that's a lot, you guys. That's a lot. And especially if your store is being slow, you're not getting as much orders in or, you know, whatever the case may be that your, your business is being a little slow. And that's happening to my store right now, you guys. I'm not even going to lie. My store is getting slower. Um... Like this month, I've only had maybe like four orders to do. 
Um, I know last month was very busy for me and I thank God you guys for each and every little order that I get even if it's just one product and um, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that has been there for me and that has supported my business and I know it's hard right now times are very hard right now and um, now imagine getting four orders this month and now I have a hundred dollar chargeback so i'm not complaining you guys i am not don't get it twisted don't get it wrong or anything like that it's just when i received that i was i was mad you guys because it's like i'm i'm putting all my sweat and tears and everything here and for this person to come and you know she receives her products and then she just wants her money back because it's fraud like come on that that doesn't make sense you guys um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep her on my records i'm gonna keep her name um i don't know somewhere written where i have all my notes to my store and you know i'm gonna make sure that if she does another um another purchase for my only store i'm gonna cancel that that order and i'm not gonna i'm just not gonna send her nothing you know what i mean but yeah that's what happened to me this morning that's how my morning has been so far i mean it's been a good morning i cannot complain um gracias a dios aquí estamos and i thank god that we're here and um i thank god for everything all oh, this is a blessing you guys even just standing here talking to you guys is a blessing and i don't know you guys that's just yeah that was just my morning <laughs> that's literally my morning but I've already had my cafecito. I spoke to my husband. He's like, if you have evidence that um, you took, you know, the picture, send them the, the picture that you took from your tablet, um, that you sent her everything. It was delivered. I checked the tracking number. It was delivered. You know, send them all screenshots of everything. And hopefully you'll be able to win that. I said, yeah, you're right. It's true. And, um... Like I said, if I do receive any other order from her, I'm gonna cancel her order and just return her money because honestly, I mean, it like for me to be sending free product like that, like it like no, that's not gonna happen, girl. So, yeah, you guys, that's the cheese man, that's the tea for today. And hopefully everything gets resolved. And if it doesn't, it's okay, you guys. Thank God this is my first time that's ever happened to me. And I hope it doesn't ever happen again. Because it does kind of stink. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, as you guys can see here, I'm going to be filing everything. And um, it's just the, the usual, you guys. Just filing with my hand with my hand file first and then I go in with my electric drill. This is my bell electric drill and I'm using my fine drill bit, the tapered one, the five in one fine drill bit from not polish. Again, I do have a coupon code with not polish. So yeah, you guys may always use it. And that's this is pretty much what I do, you guys. You guys know that I have not changed my filing process. And this is what I do. So the RPMs to my bell drill is at about, I would say, 13 to 14, maybe sometimes 15 RPMs. I do not have them as high because I find that it's a little harder to control on my part. You know, that's just me. But if it's not hard for you guys, you guys can use it up to like 20 RPMs if you want. But yeah, this is just pretty much how I work and the way I like to work pretty much. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to let you guys watch the filing process. There's nothing really much for me to explain here. And yeah.
So after cleansing all the nails all throughout, you guys, just making sure there are no little dust particles or anything like that. This is what they look like after being filed. And now we're just going to really decorate everything, okay? I really wanted like different types of purples incorporated in the design, different types of like dark purples, light purples, in between purples, neon purples, whatever you guys, I really wanted all types of purples into the design. So I went ahead and added different types of crystals in purple and um, a little bit of like decoration. Like for example, I did add a little butterfly and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much what I did. And for that, I'm using my Zule adhesive, which I need to buy a new one because I ran out. I'm not using that one right now. This is like a not an old video, but I've had it for like the past two weeks. And um, I still had my Zule adhesive. Pero ya se me acabó. So I have to buy a new one because I like I do love it. I freaking love it. I do recommend it. So if you guys aren't using it, go ahead and use it because it is really good for your for your stones or for your rhinestones in general. And um yes like i said i'm gonna be using all types of crystals here big small all types of colors in purple and again i did went ahead and add like a little charm here at the bottom i think it's a chanel charm i wanted it to be gold but i don't have it in gold i only had it in silver so i'm like you know what whatever let's just add it and yeah <laughs> so i'll be decorating this design this design has a lot of decoration actually um crystals it has a lot of crystals so yeah i'm just gonna be placing them here and there I don't know you guys um at the end I was not really feeling the all the crystals that I had added all the decoration that I had added I'm I don't know just you guys tell me what you guys think tell me what you guys would have done different I think I should have done something different to it um but yeah just tell me what you guys had done because honestly i was not really feeling it and i didn't know whether to upload it or not i was not sure 
but here it is you guys Okay, baby girls, now it's time for top coat. The top coat that I'm using on today's video is from my online store as well. And yeah, you guys can find it there. You guys will not be able to find any acrylics right now because I do not have any containers. I had to ask my supplier for more and they're currently in production. So I'm just going to wait for that. But currently, I do not have any containers so the ones that I do have, I want to save them for my fall collection. That's why I removed every single acrylic from my online store. And yeah, I'm excited for the fall collection, you guys. I am super, super excited. You guys are going to love it. I know um, the colors and the consistency of them are very, very buttery. You guys are going to love them. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, here I'm going to be adding a super thin coat of my top coat. And I'm just going around some of the crystals because some of them were Swarovski's. And I do not want to dull the shine. So I went ahead and cured that under the lamp for about 60 seconds. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of cuticle oil because my cuticles were looking crusty, extra crusty. So I didn't want that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you guys, this is the end result. I really hope you guys like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. God bless and bye-bye.